my name is Colin Greatwood. I'm a mechatronics technology engineer with Festo. And today I'll be showing you how to use the CI or terminal interface of a CPX electric terminal to change the IP address without downloading any Festo software. The purpose of this video is to prevent the user from having to install Festo Automation Suite, Festo Field Device Tool, or Festo Maintenance Tool in order to access the CPX terminal and change the IP address of the main field bus node. Now here you can see I already have a terminal, it's powered up, and the primary field bus module is an FB36 or Ethernet IP module. Now I'm not accessing this via any FESO software, I've only logged in via the current IP address of the terminal itself, which is 192.168.0.20, and you can see that in the URL bar. I'll close that tab and re-enter the terminal. Great, you can see that that IP address is active. Now I'm going to go to the CPX sub-tab and launch the CI terminal. This acts like the command prompt on your PC. A little guidance here, because the CI terminal interface is a little complicated, You'll want to be very specific in the instructions that you use. Here's a quick screenshot of the P command. You'll see on the top half of the displayed PDF that you can display a module related parameter, which in this case will be the IP address, subnet, and gateway address of that FB36 module. And then you can use the lower half of that PDF to change the specific module parameters. So all I'm going to do is change the IP address from .0.20 to .0.21. First thing I'll do is display the current IP address, subnet and gateway. You can see the syntax for that is PM for module, which will be zero. The first position that CPX FB36 was in the zeroth position or the first place. And I'm just, I've by some trial and error determined that the IP address is between parameters 11 and 14. So I'll check and see what my current IP address is by typing these in. You will get a warning to say, be careful, this is only for experts, and you can acknowledge. There's the IP address of my current FB36 module. Now I'll display the subnet. Great, you can see that's 255, 255, 255, zero. Now I'll display the gateway. You can see that my gateway octets are the same as my IP address at this time. You can confirm all this by going to the system menu and going to information. And you'll see here at the bottom that the IP address, net mask, and gateway are exactly as we predicted. Going back to the terminal, now I'll use a series of commands just to change the fourth octet of the IP address and the gateway. As you can see on the bottom half of the PDF, the command for that is P0 for the module position. Then the parameter I want to change, which if you recall, the fourth octet of the IP address is parameter 14. And then I'll change the zero width bit from zero to seven, the zero width bit to a value of one where it was previously zero. You see, I get the response okay on the right hand side which in order to confirm the IP address, you actually will have to log in at the new IP. So you can see now I've changed that. Logged in at the new IP address. And just to be sure, I'll confirm that one more time. And you can see that's 21, which we already confirmed by being able to log in. Now I'll do the same thing for the fourth octet of the gateway, which was parameter 22. I'll change bit zero of that 8-bit parameter from zero to one. You see I get an acknowledgement there. 
And again, I will confirm by reading the value. If you need further confirmation, you can go again to the system submenu, go to information. And now you can see the IP address and gateway of the FB36 module have been changed to dot 21 for the fourth octet. One final method of changing the IP address is instead to manage the octets of either the IP, the subnet mask, or the gateway at the byte level instead of the bit level. The command I used earlier controlled everything at the bit level for a parameter. Now I'll show you very quickly how to manage it at the byte level. Again, log in at the IP address, which we've already changed to 192.168.0.21. Open the terminal. And instead of modifying the 14th parameter, which again is the fourth octet of the IP address at the bit level, we'll type in P0 for module 0, 14 for the parameter, and then equals 25. So this should change that fourth octet 21 to 25. If I refresh my screen, you'll see I no longer have connection and I have to log in at the new IP address. Again, we can confirm from the system submenu and information that the IP address fourth octet was changed to 21, 25.